What's going on guys, it's Risk Instinct here, and today we're going to be looking into the game that's set to take the world by storm. Now if you've been paying attention to game developers lately, they've been turning back the clock. They're going back in time, trying to realise that what we really want is games with the nostalgia that we grew up with, not this fucking new age shit. I didn't deem it necessary to have a face cam over this video for the simple reason is it'd serve no real purpose and it'd just make the file sizes much too big. We're going to first start off with what is Battalion. Now Battalion 1944 is a World War II based infantry first person shooter by the British team Bulkhead Interactive. So what do we know about Battalion? Well we know so far that it will be running dedicated servers with anti-cheat implements. So you won't have to worry about those shitty hybrid servers that games like Call of Duty and that run. It will have cosmetic unlocks only which means that you won't have any advantages over other players by unlocking certain things. So I can bet you that there's not going to be any microtransactions and you're not going to have to worry about any supply drops here. It runs the Unreal Engine 4 and it'll be available on PS4, Xbox One and PC. So all major platforms. We also know the, about the rank up system which will be called the War Torn rank up system. Which simply means other players are not going to just see your level because the development team wanted to create more than just a number on the board. As you level up it actually adds cosmetic damage to your player, your guns, your your clothes and your equipment so as you start to rank up you'll notice a lot of scratches appear on your guns your clothes are more dirty whereas when you start your clothes look brand new out of the factory as you rank up you'll be able to etch your guns with quotes or custom messages and apply war paints that are art pack friendly to the game this means that you're not going to have to worry about seeing any shitty gold camos or any bullshit like that but what about if you reach maximum level what is there to keep you playing the game what else could you do well once you reach maximum level, the developers have said that you'll be able to unlock different types of wood for your gun body and stock that adds that extra cosmetic customization to the game. Now as the title suggests, you'll be able to join other battalions which you'll fight in on seasonal events. Whichever battalion has the highest score at the end of the season will be given a big XP boost and you can leave your battalion to join another one at the end of the season. So that's what we know about battalions so far. And other than that, it looks completely amazing. And I, for one, can't wait to see what the finished game will look like. And I'm personally glad that developers are taking this time to turn the clocks back and take us back to the game types that we grew up with. Now, the maps are said to be pretty small and have areas set up where you'll have really good gunfights with the enemy team. The major game types that we've been told will be in the game are Team Deathmatch and Capture the Flag. Could this be the next big game that we've been looking for? Where it takes us back to the time when skill was a thing and you couldn't just pay to win. Me, myself, I hope so. Personally, I think the battalion looks awesome. So on the screen now are a few player model arts, so you can have a look at them. That's not all of them, there's a few more, but these are the two best looking ones in my opinion. Well, this was a quick view into the battalion 1944. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. It's been Risk Instinct. Later, guys.